Hi there Virgos, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at May 25 through May 31st. So we're finishing up the month of May and isn't it amazing how quickly that has disappeared already. We're getting into the first half of 2015. Now this week there is a battle between uh, the Sun and Mercury in Gemini which of course is the sign that you share Mercury with and Neptune which rules Pisces which is your opposite sign and your op the opposite sign of relationships. So you may feel as if other people are not quite getting whatever it is you're trying to say that there's some sort of block that it's difficult for you to put your point of view across to people because you're not exactly being as prolific as you would like. You're not able to explain yourself as well as you like. And maybe the things that you're seeing as huge problems and limitations and restrictions in your life, they're not understanding that and they're not seeing that, which is very annoying. They call it a Neptune fog. And if you know people born under the sign of Pisces, as I'm sure you do, they do get caught up in their own world a lot of the time. They do get very busy with their various things. And sometimes they can be rather dismissive and you feel as if talking to them, it's, you're not quite sure if they're even listening to one word you said. They are listening, but they're very, very creative and they do dip in and out of moods. You know, there's one fish swimming upstream, one fish swimming downstream. And it depends on which fish you get on the day. You know, the fish swimming downstream are kind of like maybe taking the lazy way out or maybe heading down towards doing something that's not so good for them. Whereas the fish swimming upstream, uh, the ambitious ones, the ones that want to get to the top to breathe some air. And it's all very, you know, mystical and mythological with the, with the signs, Neptune being one, the last sign, it's often said Pisces is made up of every sign that's come before it. And so with Gemini and Neptune butting heads, it's kind of the cerebral energy of Mercury and then the spiritual and watery energy of Neptune. So there's nothing really in common that these two have. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it all works out. Venus, the goddess of love, remains in Cancer, your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes, and friendship. Falling in love with a friend could be very easy or a flirtation with a friend. Just remember, even though it's a flirtation and maybe nothing is really happening, it could hurt other people, your partner, their partner, or it could hurt your friendship in the long run, especially if other people are involved and they're not that happy that you're having this little flirtation. So keep that in mind. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.